What's up guys, back with another video. Today I'm gonna be giving you some PvP tips in Shindo. I'm gonna try to keep the video a bit short so I'm not gonna be holding you up. All right, so first we have defense. Uh, when you're playing Shindo, don't block with your forehead and make sure you know what moves block and don't block. It wouldn't actually hurt that bad just to go watch Rail's video on the Genkai or go watch a showcase to know if it guard breaks or not so then you know how to fight it because you already know that in shindo you get in a new server there's always going to be that one person that wants to show it off or just going to genuinely have it and they're going to be fighting people so now you know how to fight it if you either watch the video or just you know yeah showcase watch the video then you would know um but as far as defense goes as wise uh there's this element called stone it's actually very underrated a little tech I built up is whenever I'm fighting, I can build a little hut and heal, or I can just press H. And since they're gonna be running towards me, it's gonna hit them. And I think it hits for 22K twice. And it doesn't take that much chakra. So yeah, that is uh, one little tip I guess I can give you guys as far as defense. Um, So yeah, that's, there we go for defense. All right, um, now for, um, offense or just in general fighting um make sure you have at least like one insta cast move move whether it's a um taijutsu or anything like that i recommend you using a taijutsu though many people uh they're not directly gonna fight fair but for the um reason of that you know, you know people don't fight fair you're just gonna have to have two combos one for the people that you know don't fight fair and one for the people that fight fair but i highly recommend you as far as moves that are really insta cast i highly um just recommend you to get this move because since it's a up it may even lag sometimes you may not go high or it may even lag on your side where it brings you up high in the sky they can't see where you were see where you are and if they're not in the mode that gives passive auto dodge they get stunned so something I have with that move if I can show you guys in five seconds, which is um pretty cool, is I have this move which gets done again, but you get sent back as well. And that took no chakra for me to do. So I'm good to go. That's just two moves off the bat that I'm pretty sure there's like more than 60k. And it took me no chakra. Combos are really simple to make, it's just that a lot of people overthink. I mean, I, I overthink in combos, but I still end up with a decent combo. So, yeah, make sure you have something that can get you out of combos or a combo breaker. Just break out of combos and not always, you know, use auto dodges. You can. It's just that, you know, be kind of more skillful. If, you know, you don't have to use them at like a certain moment and you can like, you know, have them for another moment unless it has a very low cooldown. All right. So next well directly as far as um offense goes is um knowing how much moves or how much chakra your moves take and that is a big part into shindo pvp and fighting people in shindo because if you just put a quick combo together and you know it does a lot of damage and the moves don't cancel out yeah you could make a combo and fight people like that but not knowing how much chakra it is or if you know it drains a lot of chakra um depending on your fighting style that's very bad because if the person most of the time when you're fighting someone in shindo in a public server they're just gonna rush you they're not like gonna you know they're not your friend they're not just gonna be playing around with you they're definitely going to be trying to kill you so it's like not something you know oh, i can just play around with because the type of people there are depending on if you hit them or they just hitting you because there are random p weird people that will just hit you for no reason and just keep trying to kill you but yeah depending on the person you might want to uh, look into that um uh try using your breathing in elements more that's something i don't really see in shindo and it really like like shocks people when there's people with using breathings and elements beating people for example, this um, flame fire move, like not all flame moves are bad. I know, I think it's combustion, which is like the blue flame. That one is like an upgraded version of flame, but something they, well, they all have the same moves. It's just buff damage, I'm pretty sure. But there's this F move. They can't move out of this if you hit them in this, and it does a lot of damage. 
So after I do this, if I directly do this, which that stuns them, I can, you know, just keep clicking and then I jump. That's the air combo, you know? So the little things matter. And what I mean by that, the little things that the elements do, they matter. For example, stone, I can go into the little dome, I can do a stone wall, and then all you really have to worry about is doing it, you know, on time and the thing that i'm glad rel didn't do is make elements take up so much chopper the only problem that you may have with elements is either they might not do the damage you want or the hand signs are very long but just make sure you try to use at least some genkai's for example um i'm again using flame and stone which really helps me mine is more of like an m1 type combo because of my um bending it does a lot of damage um now uh, again your fighting style make sure you have a fighting style oh jai just joined my game because if you do not have a fighting style and you're fighting someone with their fighting style you're just basically asking to be murdered there's been times where you know i've had fighting styles like i have right now i have one well i don't think i'm, I'm gonna case count um base so i have one two three i have three plus the Cold flame so i guess that's four but at the time before i had it it was three i'd have them and then not have them on because i didn't like the way it made my character look or something weird like that which is kind of very dumb not but not at the same time um but yeah i just have that problem and my friend zuko he was just like bro if you use freaking a fighting style that would be a lot better you do so much damage and um jai showed me like how much you could possibly do with this but um yeah his is jokai fist and he does a lot of damage um with his so i was just like you know what i i gotta get it and uh one day i stayed up with my friend zero props to zero he helped me get it and i got it with zero so yeah that's just some oop i just saw someone use the dome over here so I'm not sure if a lot of people use it or not. Personally, I haven't seen it. And like the people I fight, which I don't really get in fights with people, it's more people getting fights with me. But most of the time that happens, it's just bad people. Um, do not spam in fights. Cause if you spam in fights, that is not a great look on you. So try not to spam in fights. Um, so yeah, that's just pretty much it. Just try not to do those key things and try to do those key things. Make sure, um, try to make more of your combos without auto dodges because if you make uh your combos with auto dodges and then you try not to you're just gonna be morally relied on that so when you don't have it you're gonna be bad at the game also fight with no mode practice fighting with no mode because fighting with no mode it just really shows your true power and strength and shindo meaning that you don't need a mode or need a spec to be good so if you do that then you add a mode once you get good at no mode you're practically almost unbeatable because you know there's always other ways to beat people where where it's lag auto dodge different things like that but make sure you just try and do that these are a few tips that i gave you for shindo pvp sorry i took um you know took a little bit longer than i expected but um yeah that, this is pretty much it uh thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in the next video um tune in if you guys want some more tips and tricks or even if a video of me pvping and showing you like doing commentary showing you what i did wrong and what i did right to um, help you guys better in pvp so you can understand some tips tricks just anything if you guys want anything like that just make sure you hit the um thumbs up button and comment down and if you got to this point of the video comment down chicken wing if you got to this part of the video this lets me know who got to this point of the video thank you guys for watching see you guys later peace out